Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone from TarifreeHealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is your weekly reading and it is for the... Oh, Pisces. We're at Pisces now. So, I'm just shuffling up the deck. I'm going to be using the Fountain Tarot. And like I've been telling everyone else, the artwork in this deck is beautiful, but it's very subtle, like the colours. So, some images may look a little bit washed out. But um, we, uh, I can only do <laughs> what I can do, to be honest. Because with this deck, I've seen it reviewed by so many other people, and every time it looks washed out. So I don't know. I don't know what maybe you, I don't know what kind of camera you need to pick up on the colors like in the deck. But it is a very beautiful deck. So this reading is for you, Pisces, for next week, Monday onwards. So throughout the week. Pisces, you have oh the Queen of Cups with the Seven of Coins. That's a nice card. That's very nice. With the oh your card flipped and turned around. The Hanged Man. Interesting. Okay. Okay. What I see with your cards is patience is key for you this week, Pisces. Nothing is going to be moving very fast. I'm sorry, but that's what I have to tell you. <laughs> because uh, with the Seven of Coins and the Hangman, them two cards together, nothing is moving fast this week, unfortunately. But I think that that's okay because the Queen of Coins, she's not a fast-moving individual. She's the person that she just wants to feel and she just wants to just almost like she can be in a very dreamy state as well. But then it's like she's very caring, loving. She has She encompasses your energy because you're a water sign. And so she, again, she can be quite... That's what, that's what I feel for you because you are a dreamy sign too because you're Pisces. So I feel like you're going to be probably super dreamy <laughs> this week. So you might be daydreaming a lot. You might be really in your emotions a lot because you can see she has a lot of water around her. But she's kind of, she's a bit in her own space. She's a bit reserved. She's not, you know, hype or anything like that. Like, not overly excited. But she's just, she's cool. She's calm. She's collected. And so that's kind of the impression I get from you. Like, that's where you're going to be this week. And so this might be a time where, again, you do withdraw a little bit from other people. Maybe you just want your own space or want your own quality time you know for yourself so i kind of get that impression as well but it's not but you're not doing it in like a mean kind of way at all you're doing it just just because it feels natural at this time for you so i think that's going to be good for you anyway so that's a really lovely energy and i love the interpretation of that card it's really beautiful the seven of coins is like when you're waiting on money you're waiting on something to come through something profitable something that you've been working on so this could be like a paycheck that hasn't come through and it's supposed to this could be a loan that you've been waiting on that was supposed to come through it hasn't come through yet but um something is like being delayed and postponed um, but you're still working is the thing so it's kind of but then the, the good thing is is that this card always does say is it will come through it's just that it always takes time to come through it has to be nurtured it has to grow so there's a whole process you have to go through before you finally get that payment you finally get that payoff you finally get that recognition for the job that you've done and that kind of thing so in that case that's kind of what I'm sensing there will be delays for you um this week and the hangman again is a very that's what i'm telling you you're going to be very dreamy this week <laughs> and really in your own mind um and i would say to you as well pay attention to your dreams because a lot may be coming through this week a lot of you guys might be even deciding to practice meditation or yoga or something like that because I, I i feel like you're just going to be in that kind of space like I feel like even if maybe you didn't actually sit down and decide to meditate, you're going to find that your your mind is going to be drifting that way anyway. Like, just going. <laughs> like, you're sitting there, but your mind is like somewhere else. Um, and you're not thinking about nothing, just zoning out kind of thing. 
and um, but it's a good space because I feel like this is again really coming for you but I, I think because you're in that space it can mean that you don't get that much done this week so it's like technically it's not going to be a busy week because you're just not really going to be in the zone to do anything that requires you to be extremely busy and I think that if your job like the work that you do is going to force you to kind of be that way um, it might be a time when you kind of tick people off a bit because they might find that you're moving a little bit slower than you know how maybe you usually do or what they expect you to but what I would kind of say is this is a good week for you to just kind of tone things down a bit where you can and take the time out for yourself as much as you can um, because with this hangman being here, the hangman can represent a change of perspective, a period of enlightenment, a time where you're able to see things in a di completely different way and you're really inspired um, by this new uh, either epiphany or enlightenment that you've received. Um, but again, because he's, you know, he's in suspension, like he's hanging, um, there's no movement here. It's just him in one spot. <laughs> being enlightened <laughs> upside down you know but this can be a good time because I think that something is going to become apparent to you that maybe hasn't been before and so that's good sometimes you know the universe wants to delay things for us in order for us to reflect in order for us to reassess especially now that is mercury retrograde it's a really good time to reassess things look over things think about things maybe that is showing up for you that may be connected with the past and stuff like that so i think all of that kind of stuff is really coming through for you um and like I said, I think meditation and getting a lot of rest uh, would be good for you as well right now. Because something about this week is talking about recharging, recharging yourself. So that's really good. Yes. That card as well can also talk about sacrifice too. Or surrendering to your circumstances so to a certain extent like especially looking at these cards all together you might have to you may feel like you're just hanging around like you're just in limbo waiting for something to happen waiting for something to take place and again like his his hands are behind his back and obviously he's hanging so he don't have and there's nothing he can do <laughs> about this situation so whatever delays have been coming up like I feel like there's not much you be able to do about it like there's not much you can do to push things forward but the good thing is is that at least you're, you're not going to be in a really bad space about it you know because again you're just going to be in your own feelings and <laughs> your own emotions so it's it's you know I, I feel like it's an okay kind of energy still so yes peace and many blessings to you guys I'll see you Bye.